morning. Um, thought we'd do a short um, obliques and glutes Pilates based um, exercise sequence this morning. Um, just a few minutes, just so you can add it to other parts of your of your workout um, um, at your leisure. So we're going to start on our knees and hands, and you just want your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees under your hips, and just tuck in your pelvis in so your your spine is in neutral. We're just going to get a few rounds of cat cow going, just to oil up our back. So inhale and exhale through your cat cow just to get some feeling of movement and flexibility into your into your back. So we feel like we're working with something that's a bit more like Play-Doh and we can mould it rather than something that feels heavy like rock or tight or stiff. And then let's just come back to a, a neutral spine. We're going to start with our right leg and our left arm and from knees and hands position we're just going to extend them out to alternate arm and leg and then tuck them back to where they started. Imagine you've got something really precious on your back and just holding that stability in your back as your function moves through your arm and your leg. Breathing out where it feels most challenging, maybe here and in on the reset. Let's do five and in. Let's do four and back and let's do three and back two to go very nice and tight head in line with spine and we're going to hold this one and find some lift away from that standing wrist and hand and drawing length from your center all the way through to your fingers and toes bringing your hand down and just bringing the weight balance with both hands flex your foot and we're going to tap our toes to the floor and then tap our heel as if we were going to kick the ceiling with our heel and a little squeeze into that glue on that heel tap. Let's go a little quicker for eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Eight more. Eight and seven and six and five and four. Last three and two and hold. So we're going to pulse the eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. So just really concentrate on the glute. Isolate your mind to that glute. And we're going to get 16 tiny little glute, um, pulses into that glute. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. So nice round into cat. I felt that. I hope you did. <laughs> and then back into our cow pose. Breathing out. And breathing in. A couple more. Just to get the back. Nice and mobile again. One more. High in that cat. And back to neutral, shoulders back and down, belly in, pelvis tucked under. Let's start with our left leg and our right arm from where we are. We come all the way out and we come all the way back. Again, nice and aligned, still, steady through the back and nice and functional through the hips, through the shoulders, through that length we're creating from your center in opposite directions. Let's do five more. Five and in. Try not to be heavy on the standing wrist. Think about trying to stay a little bit lifted, belly in. Let's do one more. Let's take a short hold. Again, we're lifting, we're opening, we're stabilizing. Hand comes in, weight balances, flex the foot, tap the floor, tap the ceiling. So tap down, heel tap up, let's go faster for eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two, eight more and seven and six and five, last four, last three and two, hold one, pulse the eight, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Again, focus on that glute area, squeeze into it, tiny pulses just there, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and in. Let's take a sit back into child's pose. Feel a little of that sort of rush to the glutes. <laughs> we'll move side to side. And then we're gonna leave the glutes alone a little bit. I'm gonna come onto our right side. So I would always fold my mat in, just to give me a little bit of cushioning for my elbow. Especially if your mat's not particularly thick or you could put a cushion under your elbow, because your elbow's gonna give up on you before your, before your obliques are. I always say that to you. So coming onto your right side, hips are stacked, thighs are, are sort of in line. And we're, I'm just gonna take our left leg out and pop up onto our right hip. And you can do this with your hips on the floor if you want to. So you can modify it with both hips on the ground if you need to. But if you can, come up onto the underneath knee, try and scoop up this underneath waist and lift your left arm up. And you could do this with a small hand weight if you wanted to. You can extend your left arm over, pick your, uh, your left leg up and do one side crunch in. So just one, so lovely, crisp side crunch and then in between that you're just going to bring the arm to the thigh so we call that no crunch so it's one crunch and then no crunch so one crunch in and a pause let's go a little quicker so we crunch extend and pause extend crunch in and pause we breathe breathe out breathe in and pause Again, breathe out, breathe in and pause. One more, crunch, then no crunch. Four crunches, four and three and two and one. So we're just gonna lay our left foot on the floor, bring our left arm back to the ceiling and drop our hip down. Think hip to hand as we lift the hips up for five and four and three, and two, pulse up, five, four, three, two, now hold the scoop, left arm, we're gonna bring it through the needle, and all the way back, four more, four, and lift, three, and lift, find a little sort of power and resistance with that arm, two to go, we're gonna go back to those hip lifts, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. And I really feel that. Hope you did too. I'm sure we did. I can hear the groans that I remember really well from class. And let's come around onto our left side. Again, fold your mat if it's helping you. And then let's get this side done and then we're done. So left elbow, left side, left leg extending underneath waist scooping if you are coming up onto the knee we lift in right arm or a small hand weight if you want to extend the arm lift the leg and then let's find this power in this movement so one crunch in and then no crunch breathe in breathe out breathe in then pause again breathe out breathe in and pause so we crunch crunch in and pause, again, crunch in, and pause, four more, we crunch, no crunch, three to go, crunch in, underneath hip lifting, last two, nice short, strong movements, last one, now four crunches, four, and three, and two, and one, we're done with those, lift the left arm up, Place the left leg down, right leg it should say, drop the hip, lift the hip. So we drop and lift, feel like your mat's hot. So as you lay to the mat, try not to sort of rest heavy on the mat, two more. Lower, lift, we pulse up for five, four, three, two, hold on one, and then let's thread that needle through, pulling through, 
and pull it up. Imagine you're holding that weight if you're not. So the movement feels powerful. Through and lift. Two more. Through and lift. One more. Let's finish with those lifts. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Just come around onto your back. You could leave your mat folded if you want to. That gives you a little cushion for your head. Catch hold of the backs, tops of your knees. And just get a little circle going around the legs. Just to sort of get some movement through our hips. And then bring your knees into your chest, arms out to your side. Take your legs to one side. And just take a pause here. A lovely stretch all along that side where you've been working. Legs on the ground so they feel landed and rested. And let's come over to the other side. And that's a really nice little addition to maybe part of your Pilates workout or any workout really. Or maybe even tag it alongside one of my yoga sequences as well. I'm just going to draw the knees into the chest. Curl your head up to meet your knees, roll your shoulders down your back and then whatever way you're comfortable we'll come all the way back and up. Nice big roll back and down in your shoulders and we're done. So have a really lovely day and whatever you're doing enjoy and I'll see you soon.